Tesla has begun rolling out the full self-driving version 11 update, which is intended to be a wider release to everyone who purchased FSD in North America. It's an exciting and terrifying step, because it's supposed to combine Tesla's FSD and autopilot highway stacks. FSD Beta allows Tesla vehicles to drive autonomously to a destination entered into the car's navigation system, but the driver must always remain vigilant and ready to take control. Welcome to Tech Heaven, and in this video we'll take a look at everything you need to know about the Tesla FSD Beta version 11 rollout. It has arrived. Tesla has now begun to distribute FSD Beta version 11. Elon Musk confirmed the update's release on Twitter. FSD Beta version 11 is widely anticipated to be a significant update to Tesla's advanced driver assist system, in part because Musk previously stated that version 11 would use a single stack. This should improve FSD Beta's performance. Members of Tesla's AI team who spoke at AI Day 2022 emphasized the improvements that will almost certainly be visible once FSD Beta transitions to a single stack. Musk also mentioned that he was using a single stack version of FSD Beta, and it was able to get him to his destination without him having to touch the controls of the vehicle. Late Friday, Tesla software update trackers such as Tesla Scope reported seeing a very limited number of reports that the upcoming update for this full self drive beta system would finally be the system's single stack version. Elon Musk later confirmed that the FSD beta version 11 has been released. FSD version 11 was released at 11.11 pm Pacific, Musk wrote. Despite numerous inquiries from Tesla fans, Musk did not mention whether the version 11 update will use a single stack. Given that Tesla typically releases FSD beta updates to its employees before releasing the system to FSD beta program participants, it would not be surprising if release notes and video of the system in action are shared later. Needless to say, this is an exciting time for Tesla fans, as version 11 could be the update that propels FSD beta to new heights. Elon Musk stated during the company's Q3 2022 earnings call last month that Tesla expects to implement a wide release of FSD beta by the end of the year. This means that Tesla customers who purchased FSD will have immediate access to the company's most advanced driver assist system. So, we expect to go to a wide release of full self-driving beta in North America this quarter. So, anyone who has ordered full self-driving will have access to FSD beta program this year, most likely within the next month. So, obviously, anyone who buys a car and selects the full self-driving option will have it available to them right away, Musk explained. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic, Tesla is planning to make FSD available to the public in Q4 2022. Drivers who purchase the capability will be able to use supervised FSD, according to the company. Drivers must still pay attention while the vehicle is in motion with enhanced FSD. Elon Musk stated that even with a wide release, Tesla's FSD would not receive regulatory approval. He explained that regulatory approval for Tesla's self-driving software would be handled separately. Musk, on the other hand, expressed optimism that Tesla would release an FSD update next year, demonstrating to regulators that cars running its autonomous software are safer than the average human driver behind the wheel. The fact that only a portion of the FSD beta version 11 release notes are available gives an indication of the magnitude of the update. On the highway, I enabled FSD beta. This combines the vision and planning stacks on and off the highway and replaces the legacy highway stack, which is more than four years old. FSD Beta's multi-camera video networks and next-gen planner, which enables more complex agent interactions with less reliance on lanes, pave the way for more intelligent behaviors, smoother control and better decision-making, according to FSD Beta version 11 release notes. An FSD expert mentioned Tesla's new FSD stack for highway drives during AI Day 2022. He mentioned that the new highway stack outperformed the production stacks Tesla had already released. For quite some time, the CEO has teased this highway stack update, stating that it will be available during the single stack release. The legacy highway stack is still based on single camera and single frame networks and was designed to handle simple lane-specific maneuvers. The version of FSD beta that I drive actually has the integrated stack, so it uses the FSD stack both in city streets and on the highway, Musk explained at AI Day 2022. 
It works well for me, but we need to validate it in all kinds of weather, such as heavy rain, snow and dust, and just make sure it works better than the production stack, you know, across a wide range of environments. But I think we're getting close. Improved occupancy network's recall for close obstacles and precision in severe weather conditions with times 4 increase in transformer spatial resolution, 20% increase in image featureizer capacity, improved side camera calibration, and 260k more video training clips he added in the FSD beta version 11 release notes. The majority of FSD testers emphasized the significant improvements in occupancy networks in Tesla's FSD beta. During his CVPR 2022 keynote address in August 2022, Tesla's director of autopilot software Ashok Eluswamy discussed Tesla's new occupancy network. Tesla's new occupancy network determines whether or not any location in 3D space around the car is drivable. Dr. Know-it-all knows-it-all of YouTube noted that Tesla's new occupancy network has significant implications not only for FSD beta but also for collision avoidance. Eluswamy mentioned during his keynote address that the new occupancy network would generate a more efficient collision avoidance field, making Tesla safer. Musk stated that version 11 will be made available to more FSD beta testers in the coming weeks. Tesla may release more information on version 11 in the coming weeks. Improvements to Tesla's collision avoidance field are expected to be rolled out to all of the company's vehicles, implying that the occupancy network's implications will reverberate throughout the entire fleet. Tesla is expected to include actual smart summon in the single stack FSD beta update in addition to the highway stack. Elon Musk also mentioned an update that would allow the car to assess the speed of fast-moving traffic. Only the remaining release notes for version 11 will reveal the surprises Tesla had in store for FSD beta testers. Despite its name, it is still considered a level 2 driver assist system because the driver is responsible, not Tesla's system. It's been a two steps forward, one step back type of program, with some updates seeing regressions in driving capabilities. Tesla has frequently released new software updates to the FSD beta program as well as added new owners to it. There are currently over 100,000 Tesla owners in the program, but Musk stated that by the end of the year, FSD beta would be available to every owner who purchased FSD beta in North America. This is both exciting and terrifying. It's a significant step forward for the FSD beta program, with a more complete product that combines city and highway driving. And it's exciting for those who don't yet have access to it. We don't know if it will reach everyone who purchased the package. Has Tesla upgraded all of the cameras and computers that required upgrading? It's also concerning because the FSD beta is still far from deserving of its full self-driving moniker, with widely disparate performance, particularly in markets outside of California. Tesla drivers who are testing FSD beta must be extremely cautious and vigilant at all times, ready to take control. Please use the system as carefully as possible. And with that being said, it's time to end our video, but before that would like to know whether you are excited for the FSD beta version 11 rollout. Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.